Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak today. Avita Biomedical is a platform vaccine company. If you're going to walk away with one slide in your mind, this is it. We have a cancer vaccine in four different clinical trials in two countries showing 72% survival, a COVID-19 vaccine in clinical testing in Q4 of this year, a revenue generating subsidiary. I am the CEO, Hans Kirstead, and this is my fourth story with high returns on my previous three. And we have a very experienced board with leadership from Kite Pharmaceutical, Allergan, and Visa. We emanate our, all of our programs from a core set of technologies that really rely on purification of stem cell products, human stem cell products. And they are surrounded by fully in-house manufacturing, regulatory, and clinical operations, outsourcing nothing. Avita is a completely self-contained company with full competence. We have four cancer vaccines in 17 hospitals in the United States and Japan, and a COVID-19 vaccine program that's just about to start in phase one, two, and three in two different countries. Our personnel are world leaders in their sectors, as well as our board, and we're fully venture capital backed with two rounds of financing. A summary of our vaccine programs. In gray, you can see the four cancer vaccine programs. Our most advanced is a commercialization application for melanoma. I helped change laws in Japan along with a lot of other people a few years ago, and we're one of the few American companies taking advantage of their new regenerative medicine track, which expedites cellular therapies in regenerative medicine. As a result of that, we're under a final PMDA approval, which we expect to get at the end of this year, that will grant us clinical commercialization rights subject to a Japanese patient, very small safety clinical trial. In the United States, we conducted the two phase two studies in melanoma that supported this Japan commercial application. In the United States, we're running two phase twos, one in glioblastoma multiform with eight clinical sites recruiting. Patient recruitment is finished in that, and we have our final formal interim data in uh, about one month. In ovarian cancer, we have six clinical sites recruiting. We're about one third done patient recruitment with no interim data yet. The first and formal interim data coming in Q4 of this year. And because 100% of our non-responder patients have over 150,000 times the amount of PD-1s in their bloodstream, we of course applied for and were awarded a combination trial of our immunotherapy with checkpoint inhibitors and have recruited two hospitals and patient recruitment begins this month. Our new COVID-19 vaccine has completed most of the non-clinical studies and we're just about to enter phase one, two, and three studies in two different countries. Our cancer vaccine is really an optimized neoantigen technology. We very uniquely target the 1% of tumor initiating cells. Tumors are formed from tumor initiating cells that comprise about one in a hundred cells, sometimes up to 3%. They can also migrate through the blood as tumor circulating tumor cells and make distant metastases or they can fall asleep in your bone marrow for approximately seven years and are the reason for recurrence. We're the only company that can actually purify them from pieces of resected tumor in stage three recurrent or stage four cancers and three weeks later have 150 million or so of that patient's pure tumor initiating cells. So we pull the 1% out and amplify it without differentiation. And that's extremely important because every patient's antigen presenting cells, I'm sorry, every patient's tumor initiating cells are identical um, to each other within the patient, but have hundreds to thousands of unique mutations patient to patient. So my tumor initiating cells are different from yours. So we must start with the patient's own tumor initiating cells. So 
what AVITA does is uses the entire makeup of that cell. We let biology choose the antigen. We're not trying to force it. And when we look at those purified tumor initiating cells, they are clearly unique from every patient. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see five different patients in five different colors, and the vast majority of the thousands of um, mutations are unique to that patient. If we then cross-reference them against HLA classes, we know that they're immunogenic. So we, we have very uniquely tumor initiating cells from every individual that has entered our trials. We do 34,000 gene exomic analysis with methylation arrays and cross-reference against HLA. So we can tell that they truly are cancerous because of the multiple identified mutation pathways within them that are typical cancerous, as well as being driver antigenic mutations. And then we load them into a tried and true delivery system, dendritic cells. Dendritic cells have had a couple generations before we got to them, the first being typified by Dendrion, where they had a single synthetic peptide that really failed in clinical um, analyses because less than 5% of the patients expressed that antigen. Then along came immunocellular Argos Northwest Bio that used whole tumor antigen. And I've just told you 99% of that looks a lot like the patient. Only 1% is unique as the ticks. And they failed, not unsurprisingly, because the vast majority of the antigens they drove those dendritic cells to attack also are expressed by the patient's own body and there were multiple um, adverse events. What we've done is identified uniquely the tick and nothing in you looks like a tumor initiating cell. And so we've had tremendous clinical trial success using a very tried and true carrier, the dendritic cell. And we can do so with a cost of goods that's under $10,000 per patient. This is what the melanoma data looks like briefly. Two-year survival of two phase two clinical trials. First, a uh, open label, and then secondly, double-blinded randomized, multi-center. Two-year, 72% survival. Five-year, 54% survival. On the right-hand side of the screen, if you do a sub um, category analysis of different patient populations, no matter what way you slice it, our survival is actually superior to any published cancer survival. Our phase two uh, interim data that we did for glioblastoma last on the far left of the screen shows an immunological response that clearly indicates an anti-cancer response that we are inducing in the patient's blood. We look at the patient's blood at eight time points after injection and of course prior, and we see that we turn on in about 70 or 80% of them, a, a very strong pro-inflammatory and typical anti-cancer response, like for example, a uh, you know, T2 immunoglobulin type response, um, hypersensitivity, Th1 hypersensitivity that you see in those lucky 2% of natural survivors, we turn that on in about 80% and about 90% of them have decreasing tumor antigens in their bloodstreams. And not just one or two, every single one we've ever looked at, 27 different tumor markers. So the blood looks like it's working. That of course prompted in the middle of your screen, MRIs, and we can see over time in blue, the shrinking tumors and in orange, the surround of inflammation with T2 flare imaging, showing that we are inducing inflammation around the tumor as it is decreasing in size. And then of course, the holy grail of cancer treatment is survival. And on the right hand side of your screen, you can see our interim analysis at 15 months with 76% overall survival in our treated versus the control groups, which is the Stoops standard of 48%. So looking very, very strong in glioblastoma. Our cancer vaccine forms the basis of a COVID-19 vaccine where we basically pull the blood out and purify the monocytes, turn them into dendritic cells. And then rather than putting in the um, tumor initiating cells, in this instance, we just put in multiple, a panantigenic approach, multiple antigens from the SARS-CoV-2 and every single mutant that there is. So this is very uniquely a pan-antigenic vaccine with multiple antigens targeting all viral mutations. And perhaps most importantly, we make it in a kit. 
This is actually the materials that a point of care needs to make the vaccine in an extremely low tech environment with nothing but a fume hood. They, I'm sorry, a cell culture hood. Nothing but a cell culture hood. They can actually take this kit, pull some blood out of the patient, push it through a FICOL gradient, select the monocytes, differentiate them into dendritic cells with some um, devices that we provide in the kit, load the antigens, and then simply harvest the dose and inject it. So this is simply put, mass scaled distribution. We are not generating a single multi-billion dollar facility that puts out um, hundreds of millions of doses. Rather, we can put out kits and send them all out for point of care. Frankly, any hospital, any clinical commercial laboratory, anyone with a cell culture hood can actually make as much vaccine as they can handle in their facility. So it's mass scale distribution and an extremely low cost of goods. So we're very excited about this. And lastly, we have a skincare line that actually emanates from the very same core technology of purification, where we take liquids, put them onto human stem cells, and then differentiate them into, for the first time, human skin precursors. The same cells that you were covered with in utero when you were making skin, they secrete seven, sorry, 670 factors in all natural physiological concentrations. We don't add or subtract anything. 100% natural physiological concentrations of 670 factors. Three blinded clinical studies by third parties, excellent uh, clinical dermatologists show phenomenal anti-aging of the skin. And what we're not showing here is that skin punches showing genetic and histological evidence of anti-aging in six different categories that are statistically significant. Put simply, it thickens your skin with about six times the amount of collagen, pushing out wrinkles. It increases um, aquaporin channels, um, uh, rete peg. It um, strengthens the, retal, the um, stratum corneum on the outside of your skin, preventing hydration loss. It's basically bathing your skin in an environment that it has not had since you were a young baby growing up. And uh, 176 women over the age of 65 with 100% response rate show dramatic improvement. We partnered it with the world's largest um, uh, marketing company, Guthy Renker. And um, they are just shooting our commercials now for launch in December in the United States. And we've also partnered with the largest distributor of cosmetics, QVC HSN, in order to distribute that throughout America. We have shown it over the last year in Japan on television and had sold out record setting sales on every single show that we have done. So it seems to be gripping. It's a very good product. And at the bottom of your screen, you can see 100% of the proceeds support the treatment of people with cancer. That's why we did it. Thank you very much for your time.